Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Friday Facts number 251, A Fistful of Frames, and I am with Scarhoof again. Hello, everyone. And, uh, buckle up. This is, <laughs> we are in for a thrill ride here. That's right. Not really. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, th no, no, this is not, no, um, no offense to, like, you know, the guys who wrote this. It's just, uh, for someone who's not super technically inclined, this is, um, extremely not it's yeah. dry it's dry um yeah it's dry so but then don't leave because i mean it's good stuff we just we have a nice little summary for you here so this first part's cool though uh so it um they have a factory at the national library of technology in prague um if you're in prague this summer and wanting to uh satiate your factorial cravings you can stop into the national library of Technology Prague, where Factorio is loaded onto 150 computers for all to play. Entry is free for all visitors Monday through Friday, 8 to 22, until the 31st of August. PCs are running Linux Fedora, neat, loaded with a custom build of the game Hanzik you put together, and you can host LAN servers and play with your friends. 150 uh, servers or computers. That's pretty awesome. That's that's, that's a heck of a LAN party. No kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on top of that, on the 23rd of this month, um, the devs will be hosting their own Factorio LAN party at the library starting at 16 uh, Central European Standard Time, Prague time, so you can come along and play with us. It is advertised to, advised to bring your own set of headphones if you're going to attend. So if you're in Prague that's awesome. and you want to play with the devs, man, that's an awesome opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what, next week? 23rd. Yeah, it's got to be, right? Like end of next week, I think. Oh, it's in 10 days. Never mind. 10 days. Okay. I can count. I can math. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of math, that leads right into rendering optimization. Yeah. So, um, basically, now I always say I'm going to do a summary and then I read the whole thing. I'm not. <laughs> I swear, like, seriously, I'm not. Uh, pretty much, they are making rendering better um, with the CPU. Okay, so this is from our summary. Uh, one of my awesome Patreon's uh, supporters, Flixian, wrote this. Uh, so all these optimizations are targeting the CPU, not GPU. It can be a little confusing, uh, but the GPU optimizations with VRAM will come in the future, but this is all for the CPU. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, um, the old rendering, which is like how it is right now, uh, copied a single batch of sprites to the GPU at a time using a simple array. Uh, and it kind of shows here, this old render like picture you can see. Um, it's like preparing the single batch, it's copying it, you know, and then it's sending it over. Uh, the new render can't do that, have to use more complex arrays, vertical, uh, vertex buffer. So they tried multiple different versions here uh, and such. And uh, basically version one tried to mimic the old render process of uh, one batch at a time but lags significantly due to resizing the vertex buffer. Uh, version 2 keeps the vertex buffer at a fixed size and keeps adding batches until the batch uh, the buffer is fully uh, is full. Uh, and this is the version they use in these benchmarks. And then version 3 tried to compress the data being sent to the GPU using instancing uh, but found an uh, article warning against it for their use. Uh, you know, that mm -hmm. like they found information, they did quite a bit of research, they link here and stuff to all this. Uh, so this this here, what we're looking at, this new render, this is like the one they chose. Where, and you can see the animation, it kind of just batches like a ton together and then sends the whole batch instead of like one at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then version 4 tried to compress the data being sent to the GPU using geometry shaders, a uh, method of computing the needed pixel information from less input data, but found it wasn't supported on Mac OS and actually cause worse performance on older hardware. So they kind of threw that idea out the window. Mm -hmm. Darn uh, Max. Yeah, darn Max, man. If... <laughs> <laughs> why would anybody want to play on one of those? Uh, yeah, tell me. <laughs> why, why, why is that? <laughs> cough, cough. cough. Look at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of showed here, shown here, the geometry shader, but they uh, decided to, you know, set that one aside. Uh, so basically, the results um, of this is uh, the, the results of new renders. Significant performance improvements on almost all PCs with the exception of those with integrated graphics cards because uh, those are going to be bottle bottlenecked by the GPU if you have an integrated graphics card. Yeah, and that being said, though, if you look at the graph, the bar graphs at the bottom, 
there was still an improvement. It just wasn't as big of an improvement on the uh, on the integrated G uh, GPUs. Which ones are the integrated ones? Uh, the ones with the asterisks after the name. So the the, oh. the the fourth and third one from the bottom. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, there was still still an improvement by I don't know, like five to ten percent, but it wasn't mm -hmm. near as much as like the fifty percent that we were seeing on some of the others. Right. Uh, and then there's no performance difference between NVIDIA and AMD GPUs now. GPU finishes processing before CPU gets a new instruction. So basically, there, there used to be a difference. Um, they say down here that, like, for example, in his computer, uh, he has a GTX 1060, 6 gigabit, like, which is what I have. Uh, and Radeon R7 360, uh, the, the rendering in 16 currently now is much slower on the Radeon than in the GeForce. But with the new render, they're about the same. So it pretty much improved the AMD GPU stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, so this this graph shows... So the dark one is the old render, and this the light one is the new render. The Obviously, the lower numbers, because this is average frame time, lower is better. Uh, so, you know, this kind of just shows a variety of things here, mm -hmm. which is pretty decent. Um, yeah, the, yeah, we'll uh, take it i9 and then the i7 6700 are really good improvements so is the 4700k 4790k actually mm -hmm. that's almost 50 percent oh yeah so that's like really good mm -hmm. and now, that's not... just with improving on the cpu side right now once they do even additional uh you know performance increases from the gpu side we should see even even better improvements oh definitely uh now, th so this is going to affect, like, FPS, right? It it's should, like, honestly, also help out the UPS because, so I mean, all this CPU. stuff has to go through the CPU before it right. goes to the GPU. Um, so anytime, uh, I mean, you know, FPS is basically, you know, I mean, super, super simplifying it. Your, your FPS is your graphics and your mm -hmm. UPS is your CPU, right? right? And so... Anything that you can reduce, like if you could, if you can put everything into a folder rather than handing a single paper over and over, you can collect everything to like a folder and hand mm -hmm. that one folder over. That's that fewer, uh, you know, things that your your CPU has to do, and then it can spend more time on the the CPU intensive things, like like making sure your UPS stays up. Right. Yeah, that is true. So yeah, more performance upgrades, uh, improvements. I'm always happy for those. Yep, we'll take them. Oh yeah. So. This is probably our shortest one to date because it was just way too technical and stuff to actually read it. So it just <laughs> very massively summarized it. But uh, if you're interested and actually know what they're talking about, you can come read this stuff. Uh, all these links and such too to check out. But I mean, really, I mean, it's short. We're done. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. All right, guys. Then that's going to do it. Uh, hopefully some like... Maybe some uh, more, a little like thrilling teaser ones in the future with some, uh, some, some maybe some new gooey stuff or uh, something like that. Hint, hint. Or, um, or, or the Spider-Tron. Spider-Tron <laughs> or something cool here. I think would be pretty awesome. Yep. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's going to do it. As always, leave your thoughts, questions, all that down below. And until next time, we will see you later.